Good morning, it's Saturday morning and Art is just taking me down to the grocery store. There's just a handful of things, of fresh items that I need to pick up at the grocery store. And one of you guys told me that the Georgia peaches are ripe and lo and behold, what did I see in my sales flyer? But Georgia peaches were on sale. So I'm gonna go get some and we'll see how I they... I love peaches. We're at Price Chopper and Janelle and Charity are shopping there. The reason it doesn't say Price Chopper on it is because they are switching the name over to Market 32 on all the Price Choppers. So. The name Price Chopper will be no more very soon. The rest of the kids and I are walking over to Hannaford, which is not too far away. We're going to go buy peaches while Janelle and Charity are shopping at Price Chopper. And we're at Salvation Army again. And look at all that stuff that they have. That is absolutely amazing. The amount of stuff all the time. My sister volunteers at thrift stores in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and she says that a lot of the thrift stores there are going out of business because they don't have enough donations. I think they should send a, a, a tractor trailer over to New York and get the stuff because there's no lack of stuff here in New York. Price Shopper is changing names to Market 32 and they're just starting construction on our store and what Charity and I noticed is there it was not as busy in there and I think it's because people don't want to deal with the construction but on the bright side of that is there tends to be more meat markdowns and today Charity and I were able to snag some a bunch of sausage it was oh, about what what would you figure it was a dollar sixty dollar sixty dollar seventy a pound which is a really good price for that and that's a I do that do a lot of sausage in the summertime with the grill I didn't know what I was gonna do for dinner tonight so guess what guys we're having sausage for dinner and there's a crowd tail sign that Art wants to stop at so why not we're going this way anyways maybe there'll be something good wow, it Ooh. certainly is busy it's a big garage sale this garage sale looks almost as big as our garage sales one dollar for a juicer, that's a pretty good deal, but we don't need one. Um, a few years ago I would have bought that. And these things are really good to have. If you ever find one at a garage sale, buy it. The only thing is the price is a little steep, but... A bread machine for ten dollars. Crock pot for ten dollars. Chanel's checking out the clothing. It was a pretty decent sale with a lot of big items, and if you needed some of those items, that was this was definitely the place to... Definitely the place to go. But I didn't think there was anything that we needed. Their prices were, I thought, fairly reasonable. What did you think, Art? I thought their prices were pretty good other than that food slicer, which is outrageous. I thought that said 10. I not... thought, well, maybe it was 10 and not 40. I don't know. I guess we have a, uh, we have a picture of it on the uh, We'll the, have the to video. go back and look. Well, I, also, I thought it was 10, which I didn't think was all that bad. Well, if I were 10, I probably would have bought it. Yeah. I'm working on cleaning out the pantry right now. It's not too bad, but it could use a little help. And this is the pasta that I found in there. So tell us about your right, pasta. So Art has always had comments about my ability to hoard pasta. But what always happens is by the end of winter, my pasta supply is usually... And what happens is pasta almost always goes on sale during the summertime and I can pick it up for right around 50, 60 cents a box, which is a really good price for pasta. If I were to buy it in bulk, which is usually 30, 40 pounds, it's usually 90 cents, upwards of $1.50 a pound. So I have to stock up when it's on sale in the summertime. So what you see is the start of my stocking up. You're and you think about this is only a pound each. How many pounds is that? Not that many. pounds. And if I bought it in bulk, I'd be buying 30 plus pounds. And that'd be for only one specific shape. So I consider myself a wise woman to stock <laughs> up in the summertime, even if it fills up my pantry, because I know by the end of winter, this is gone. It's happened every year. So we just stock up, stock up, stock up. And I think- and One thing we're thinking about doing is there are a few peanuts in this Cambro yeah, container. Another empty one Another empty one. one. We're thinking about emptying well, one or two of those out and then putting some of the same shapes like of pasta in there. I've got a lot of the shells. I have a thing for shells. So I put a lot of the shells in here and then, you know, I might store up, a, you know, make up for a little bit more room in the pantry and also make sure we keep the bugs out. And if you guys haven't seen the video of when we bought these, I'll try to put a link up here or in the description below because this has probably been one of the best investments, don't you agree, Art? Yes. For our pantry. 
Because it's kept, in, kept everything organized. Yeah, look organized. at this. We did, what, a year ago do we do this? A year ago. We did it a year yeah. ago in May. And it's staying everything. organized, which for our family is a huge thing. These have really helped keep everything tidy and in order. In fact, I even said to Art, I think we could even use about four more of each size. And these are the best quality and cheapest price that we could find as of a year ago. It might have changed, you know, after a year. But, I mean, look at how well they've held up. They still look pretty much like new. And the bugs still have not gotten in yeah, yet. Yeah, we have no of. bugs. And I, that was the one thing. You, if you guys, if some of you are older on these channels, you remember Tupperware parties and how it used to be, you know, Tupperware's thing is you could burp it and it could be airtight. Well, these don't do that, but I have had no problems with them at all. And like we said, we're going a whole year strong on these. And we've had bugs, and but I'm Talking nothing. about bugs, I just brought the vacuum out. <laughs> Yeah. Because I did find some bugs right there. I'll try not to gross you out too much, but I'm going to vacuum that up. Now we can clean our pantry out in 10 or 15 minutes, whereas before you it couldn't do it. It is an all day project. Charity is learning Braille so she can write to two blind cousins that she has. And she made us this little thing. We're trying to learn it too. So she made us a little Braille thing, and we're trying to sit here and, I out and figure oh, yeah. it out. Yeah, well, Peter yeah, and Daddy are trying that, to figure this out. You see that three, four dots? Yes. What do you think that and one is? I think it's a W. The, that looks like a W to me. Okay. What does that say all right there? Okay. Something about, um, what was it? You, you no, no, no. Don't, we don't want John to, we don't want John to hear because uh, he's going to have to figure this out too. Something about your chess game. Yes. So we figured that out so far. Charity had nothing to do because she Mommy said, just make these to use up. We're just using half a box of cookies. When I bought this cookie mix, it was marked down for 25 cents. And sometimes it's worth having a little bit of busy work for little people. So that's what this is. This is busy work for little people today. For Lydia and Mary. Mm -hmm. Do you I like it, Mary? Do, but... Two. You have two? Mm -hmm. Do you like making your white and white and um, red cookies? These weren't supposed to to be, they're supposed to be candy canes, but we're making them a little different. They can be. It's oil. more fun not following directions. 25 cents worth of enjoyment for the girls. And that's why I bought it because yes, I know it's a box mix and yes, I know it's prepared, but I knew it was something that would keep the two little girls busy with charity for like a day like today when I'm cleaning stuff out and I just need the little girls occupied for a little bit of time and it worked perfect and they're happy and they've gone outside to swing and life is good all because of a 25 cents box of candy cane and sugar cookie mix. Daddy is now trying to figure out Braille. Yes. Okay, let's see, where is it? N-I something H. I bet this is uh, this is a punctuation, I think, right here. Let's see what. We're, okay, over here, the punctuation. Um, right there, that's what it is. It's a what question mark. Right? We don't want to see if they can figure out. Yeah. Oh, something. Go last. Oh. Oh, I know what this is. Well, I got it. I I have it. What is it? It's what is it? How? I, mean, I can't say in front of John. How did your chess game? John, are you listening? It's amazing when you're quiet. It's amazing how quiet the kids get when you whisper something. It says, John, how did your chess game go last night? Charity. Well, that was fun doing that. Thank you, Charity. I have to do a whole bunch more. Yeah, do, yeah, do, a, do some more. It's looking pretty good. We actually have a spare room. Oh no, you know what happens to spare room? No, it doesn't though, because we've been so good about not filling this up, only putting things in here that we actually use, you know? Right. I mean, that's part of the pantry basket challenge, is just getting those last few things out of here that I'm just, I don't use anymore. So I'm, I'm happy with how we've done. It's crazy. No, it isn't. You never know when you get blind. <laughs> is it an H? Yes. I finished. Okay, what does it say? John, how did your chess game go last night? I think. Yep. How did it go? What does that say? What oh, does what say? Bad. Oh, bad, right. Yep. How's it going? It's going. 
it just, I'm just putting the matches with his matches. It's, yeah, it's almost like a yeah, game of match. Sure. I'm declaring it done for the day. It's not the best clean out job, but it's better than what it was. And I just, you know, got a quick refresher of what's in here, what I should be using. Janelle's been dizzy for the last 24 hours or so, and she contacted her midwife, and the midwife said, uh, get some uh, salted uh, mixed nuts, and that should help. So Grace and Peter and Lydia and I are taking a walk to the dollar store. I know a lot of you guys think we live in the country, but we really don't live in the country. Um, like if you go through the woods just a little bit, uh, you'll find a dollar store right in our backyard. What did you find? Green grasshopper. Oh, a Katie did. Yeah. Can you see? Do you want it to hop? Katie did are really cool. What did you find, Lydia? Oh, you found a May apple. And there's a little apple thing on it. We're coming out of the woods, and there is the dollar store right over there. Let's see what we have here. Well, here's these nuts. We Let's already have some. Yeah, we nuts. have those. These are so, good. Yes, they are. We got our nuts. Can I eat this right now? I think mommy will like these nuts. I and think I so. I will like them too. Yeah, I think mommy will like them too. We got our stuff and we're headed back into the woods. That way. Here's a foxhole and it looks pretty fresh. So I'm thinking there's probably a fox in there that lives in there right now. But isn't a fox too small to live in there? No, foxes are fairly small. They could fit in there. That's what keeps our rodent population down. And the kids are picking some orange berries to feed to the birds. We're going to see if the orange ones or red ones better. Yeah. And don't worry, the kids aren't going to eat them. And the kids picked some Queen Anne's lace to give to mommy. I just saw a skunk over there. Peter, stay away, Peter! Daddy, quick! Daddy, quick! Janelle has the grill going. What are you cooking? Well, we're going to cook sausage at some point. The boys already put some red berries up. Now we're going to put up the orange berries. Charity made some crackers while we were gone. And Mary helped and she made some animal crackers. Yeah, they are true animal crackers. I came up with the idea of it, but she, when I came up with the idea, she loved it. Let's go take this and show it to Mommy. Don't Be spill. very careful. What do you have? There's a call, Mommy. There is a call. What are these? True animal crackers. <gasps> Look at it. What is that shape? Giraffe. It's a giraffe. Oh, no. The giraffe Oh, no. I ate his head. <gasps> wow. You are a fabulous a duck. She's a fabulous cracker cookie, a cracker cook. Janelle loves Charity's crackers that she made. It was a good batch. She did a really good job. Contacted my midwife, and Art may have told you, she told me to get some salty mixed nuts, and you get a lot of minerals and nutrients from the nuts, and the salt will hopefully up my blood pressure a little bit, because apparently I'm not doing a very good job eating enough salt. Yeah, you do this, you do this. She also gave me some exercises on YouTube for benign vertigo if that's what this is. With my other pregnancies right around 16 17 weeks I usually get a case of the dizzies and I don't know there's a lot out there that says between 16 and 20 weeks there's a lot of hormonal fluctuations your blood pressure usually is at its all-time low I don't know but I am drinking my water and eating salty food. I do believe a house sparrow ate our berries. I think it was a northern cardinal, female. It might have been a um, house sparrow or a female cardinal. But they do look like there are a lot of them gone. Mm -hmm. I think they're eating them. About two weeks ago you saw John signing up for a two-day class at Cornell on uh, birds and he really wanted to get in uh, but we heard back recently and he did not get in but um, he was he's a little young for it. I'm not sure if it was his age that did it. Um, and they did say that they had overwhelming uh, uh, response. So there just may have been way too many people who wanted to do it. But anyway, uh, maybe next year. It's about 11 o'clock. Grace just woke up and said potty. So we quick took her potty, but it was too late. Uh, we're trying to start potty training her, but well... It, yes, she's doing a good job overall, but you know how things go when they're little. Daddy. <laughs> yeah, oh, she sees Daddy in the camera viewer. That's what she's saying. Well, good night, and we'll see you tomorrow.